Hey, it's Nay, and welcome to my channel. Here we talk about all things, um, looking good, feeling good, smelling good. This year I'm going to get a little bit into more, like, actually internal, feeling good type of stuff. But I've been doing a whole lot of fragrances, lotions, um, candles, purchasing, Amazon, you know so if you're interested in those type of things go ahead and hit that uh subscribe button join the fam we're growing slowly but surely uh but today today i want to talk to you about the fragrances i wore last week it is sunday so it's this week um and then what i intend to obviously wear today it is super bowl sunday uh we got invited to a party my lips then look big chap and so i uh oh this is the sephora s clean collection lip gloss lip oil glossy lip oil i love this thing i think it's really cute and i think the gloss is nice but it doesn't get like you know how like sometimes when you put gloss on your lips it doesn't necessarily bother me per se but it's kind of weird like it just i don't know it looks weird when you go to open your mouth and like it connects the, yeah i'm like mm, if i can avoid it <laughs> anyway <laughs> let's get into the fragrances i wore last week so last week was a testing period for me of a couple fragrances so there are a few i'm gonna just say in meant like in passing however i'm gonna primarily talk about the ones like i wore wore like for the full day because some i put on and then they didn't either last very long and then i wore something else that lasted much longer or whatever the case may be these ones first that i'm gonna talk about i wore for like many hours in the day or relay re-upped so let's go through i wore quite a few adua fragrances now that i'm looking at the collection right here so the first thing i wore was accidental vanille which is their dupe for guys i don't remember this is a very new fragrance to my collection though i'm not even sure if why this not turn on? Hold on. I'm not even sure if I've dropped the um unboxing of this. I might have, or might or might have just dropped. But this is a do for a, a quite. I'm gonna say quite a popular fragrance. It's not super popular, but enough people uh talked about it. Um, and I love a good vanilla fragrance. So I am, I guess you could say for sure in the testing period of this. It's like I said, a newer bottle, so the dent didn't not dent dent. But as of right now, truth, truth be told, I'm really loving the fragrance. It is, I think this has like three notes. I think it's like vanilla, Styrax, and something else. Like the, the, it's really not anything magical in this fragrance in terms of like mad notes and it's blended to the gods. And the, the, oh my gosh, is this Dan? Hold on two seconds. Y'all know I'm not editing of these videos because I'm popping them up like and then it turn on. Wow. I mean, should I just change it anyway? I feel like I should. I've had this um, mouse for a, a few, some years now. I bought this and it just takes one AA battery and it just, it's um obviously wireless, right? Wireless. Yes. Um, But I switched over every few years. I get a new like computer set not the computer i've had this computer for quite a few years now but like mouse mouse pad look at my little elephant eee! the elephants are in my mind like my my spirit animal um and then this it's so funny because i actually saw taylor win talk about this and I've had this for years because um, I got it from Amazon. It's dirty, manure. Um, but I just think this is so cute. Um, and I'm actually, now that I'm looking at all this, I think I'm going to change my color soon. And I'm just going to save it. Like you just clean them up and then you put them away. So now you start building up a little collection of keyboards. So you can kind of just choose what keyboards you would like to use. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's just giving enjoyment. But anyway, let me hop real quick on Dua. This is accidental, so I can tell you. Uh, don't forget what it is, stupid. K 
kiss no it's not oh accident i love a neil by jusol 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 perfumes um this is how what, what did i say styrax vanilla and the third note was sandalwood look my memory wasn't as bad as i thought it's just classified under gourmand and it's kind of it's this interesting buttery um it definitely has like a buttery like almost like cakey not really cakey it just has this really delicious but not quite i'm just gonna eat you type of smell like um, Brazilian Lanterosa 71 is just like a super amazing delicious smell this is delicious but it's also like fresh at the same time I really like this I think if you wanted to try a vanilla and you don't want to spend buku money I mean this is gonna drop late um not late a couple days from now so the 30% off I think is it might go to Valentine's Day so I might drop this video a little bit before but there's a 30 percent sale going on dua but most of the time they have like 15 to 20 percent off um every weekend so there goes that accidental vanille the next one is booze and vanille guys this is such an amazing fragrance um it's so amazing that i low-key want the original but i'm not sure so i have quite a few fragrances um i have quite a few fragrances just like this not just like this, but this boozy vanilla, boozy sweet scent. So I'm not sure if I really need the original. Um, but this is so amazing. This is their dupe for M. Mikalev's Note Vanille. It's just, oh my gosh. So I'm not going to go into the notes. I'm going to just tell you this smells like a very boozy. There's two types of booze. Yes, rum and cognac is in here. And it's this sweet, boozy like scent but then it's like creamy like creamy and slightly powdery to my nose it's so good it's so good and it lasts forever what's funny is um i noticed some fragrances my nose goes a little blind to um and that doesn't necessarily upset me as long as i can get a few hours of me smelling it as long as i know i can be smelled and i know i can be smelled because people will say something or make a reaction to me walking by and be like oh like yes thank you i know i smell good um and then also i go to wear the clothes another day because obviously if my clothes is not dirty, dirty i don't wash it every single wash don't judge me um and i'll smell i'll smell it like so like oh, quite a few of my fragrances days later when i go to put down the soap again you know or even like a week later it's kind of intense so and this is one of them booze and vanilla the next one i wore was princeless princess i actually wore this to bed i liked it i just can't put it on my wrist i don't know why my behind put it on my wrist i usually when i go to bed i spray my lower body like once or twice and i keep it moving that i might thought to was sprayed on my wrist and that wasn't it was kind of wafting heavy in my nails this is their dupe for i don't need a prince by my side to be a princess which is a lovely fragrance that apparent like it's back you can buy it but also like mm, i i mean you can buy it it just has a lot of great notes it's just a tea a, a marshmallowy green tea ginger fragrance that's kind of all you like i could tell you was in here they've got other notes in here but i don't really smell them but it's just this very feminine fluffy marshmallowy green tea ginger so it has a slight kick from the ginger and i look a bit that um i don't want to say herbally but the tea gives it some some something some 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 it's really good i really like this and i also like the sticker that they chose for it i think it's very feminine and beautiful so yeah that is princess princess don't worry about this ugly ass plastic cap nowadays they give you like these pr these prettier like faux wood caps the last duo fragrance is this the last? yeah the last duo fragrance that i wore was this one here this is dual therapy i've been wearing this to the gym so i'm starting to put a nice little dented dent in there this is such a beautiful oh my gosh so this is their do a dupe for a musk therapy by initial parfums y'all this is a rich luxe bouge not rich this is luxe i hate saying the word rich like i don't know but this is just super luxe i feel like i say rich a lot that's why i, say, I hate saying it i don't actually hate saying it but like it's just a very bougie orange juice type of smell um out the bottle on your skin oh lord on your skin it's giving oh on your skin the muskiness and you have your skin has to like musk you gotta test out frequencies of musk before you go on and go buy a wallet for them that have it but when i sweat um because <laughs> i wear this at the gym and you could also this is very signature scent worthy it turns into some pheromone 
releasing goodness almost like i don't know it was just mixing with my body and warming up into this i don't know amazingness to be on i'm over here like i said i don't know how many times but it's so so good and it's honestly quite amazing um it's quite amazing i don't know what else to tell you this is very amazing it's like i said orange so it's a very citrusy musky fragrance that has a bit of um like there is black currant in here and i don't really smell it out the bottle or if i were to spray it like this i don't really get it but on my skin i get a little bit more of that black currant oh mm, it's like the black currant in um the original c which is the black current buds it's not like a super like it's just this really easy easy grab type of fragrance especially in all time all the time like not too sweet not it doesn't have any sourness it doesn't have anything like it's just a must that you have to be mindful of but yeah that's dua therapy i've been wearing this a lot to my bed this is narciso rodriguez's um poudre narciso poudre um love this it's just uh, this is nothing magical i just think the price point is not too terrible and for what it, it lasts a long time it's just this beautiful musky soft powder soft powder like very 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 finely milled powder oh lord this is so wonderful this is oh lord um so i really like my favorite cube is narciso rouge but the vanilla makes the powder less finely milled this is just a very finely milled like i'm fresh i'm clean clean girl aesthetic also just trying to smell good like you just not gonna stink with it i mean put on deodorant and beard your body but you get what i'm trying to say easy grab easy nice very finely milled powder i wouldn't necessarily say baby powder although that would be where my mind would first go because I, this is not giving me baby, it's giving me big man something, but like big man powder. You know what I mean? If a big man was going to wear powder, this is what she'd wear. Narcisa Poudre. No. I have to take 2.5 to talk about this. This is freaking phenomenal. And I'm not saying that. Um, Oh, can I actually see in this bottle? Why did I just realize this is actually clear behind the arm off symbol? That's great. So when I start getting denty, 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 I'll be able to really see it. That's cool. Anyway, this is our Moss Club de Nuit Imperial White. It doesn't say white on here, I don't believe. No. But when you go to look it up, there is another Imperial. So make sure you type white. And this is the one that will come up. The white baka with the gold, um, the faux gold stuff with these little gems. Excuse me. Wow, what's going on? It is so freaking amazing. Um, This is like... It's supposed to be like a dupe for um um delina uh, or delina uh exclusive but i think it's it's in the family i don't think it really dupes either one because delina is like a lightly glossed over um tart slightly sour beautiful fragrance delina exclusive is like a thicker gloss over it and this is somewhere in between it's so gorgeous but then i feel like in the dry down oh my gosh i'm gonna have to go take a shower Oof. it's just fine what makes this so different is the opening it's bright like orangey citrusy type of bright maybe not say orangey type of bright i don't want you to think like lemon and it's like orangey oranges and cream but it's not like drenched like you're definitely still getting the oranges and then it dries down and that rose lychee oh lord it's so good it's not even and then the dry down is like a thicker icing over top of this it's so freaking good and it lasts so long oh my gosh i might wear this today she's gorgeous oh no and it's just like like caked up beautiful homemade like by a, uh, like a chef icing oh my gosh white one white icing it's so good all the best ingredients went into making the icing like it's just really 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 pretty and if you don't want to either spend the money on something that's going to give you the delina dna like or you don't want um or you just thought like that original D dna of delina was a little too tart or sour for you this is so good 
there's a touch of powderiness in this too sometimes that I get with sub that but it's not if you don't like powdery you definitely won't like this you might still like this the next one is Jimmy Choo's I Want You this is so nice um I haven't worn it like that and I'm not like I'm glad I've brought myself awareness to this um before springtime hits because this is so freaking gorgeous this is just a lovely feminine peach scent i rec i've recommended this um for mother's day gifts mother's day soon come around and this will also still be in the recommendation this is not too sexy this is not too come hither this is not sexual this is this is just a very feminine pretty peach scent that you could give to your girlfriend your wife your auntie your grandma your mom it's just not doing too much while still doing something like you smell me bitch Okay, she wouldn't say that. She'd say, you sell, you definitely smell me. Please don't. Oh, what? It smells like, um, you're in your womanliness, but it, it, it's never in a super sexual or, or hyper or anything type of way. Like, it's just, I smell good. Oh, the, oh. And so the reason why I ended up wearing this is because I went and got, this is one of those testers, but I ended up wearing this uh, all day. Um, Jimmy Cheese, I Want You Forever. I did not get super long longevity with this. It lasts about around Jimmy Choo's I Want You, uh, which is around four to five hours on me, which is not bad because I ended up re-putting this back on. Um, it's not a super cheap fragrance, and it's, but it's also definitely not a super expensive fragrance. The bottle looks like this, but with black and I think like white coating the bottle, like in a pretty way. This is a very lovely fragrance lordy lordy so oh i wanted to dislike this fragrance so bad because it gets so much hype i feel like i'm in the era now where like if i feel like it's got, something's getting overhyped i'm gonna look and be like mm, i'm probably gonna be like i'm not impressed and then i you know this one is not that case do i think it's something magical and an earth chattering no but this is a nice could i have told you there was sherry in this no well maybe i don't know but there's cherry in this it's a sweet cherry scent that gets sexier the more you smell it it's sexier in the essence of like not sex not sex. like ooh, sensual seduction mm, mm, mm. and if i had had this before i made my valentine's day video there's a high chance i would have made this like a runner-up for sure so yeah that's jimmy choose i want you forever and then the last one okay so this is so good i might really wear this thing. i is kayali's vanilla 28 i am Oh my gosh i think i'm a little past halfway done with this bottle this is the 100 i'm on i need to calm down oh my lord um but yeah so this is uh kayali's vanilla 28 y'all know about this i don't need to talk about this this just gets more deep and deliciously thick as it sits in my collection and it still has the burger bar is still there And it always makes me sneeze for the first spray. <coughs> um, but it doesn't make me sneeze throughout the whole day. It, it the bergamot is bub is is sparkling in here. So it takes this gourmandish, very gourmand brown sugar vanilla that just gets more gourmand brown sugar vanilla as you let it sit, and it just gives it this sparkling like like um fireworks or maybe not fireworks you know those little sparkler candle things like those like a bunch of those and it's just so lovely and i really enjoy that so um yeah i i grabbed this and i layered this with just about everything to be honest i also wore ocha swevin but that's in my bag oh wait the bag been here this whole time well i was like i can't find my bag it's right here i wore ocha swevin i went out to dinner and a drink with my friend um and this is what i wore with booze and vanilla um this is like another one that you could just lay with anything to be honest it's just this you know you know guys know about cartouche 540 this is oaks's version of woody cotton candy it's nice i love it but i'm not like i don't i wouldn't spend money on the original the extreme however has definitely got a little more pizzazz to me but yeah this is really nice so yeah though that is what i wore last week-esque um what am i gonna wear today it might be this um or it might be this here's the thing i really like jimmy choose this is jimmy choose eau de parfum i really like this i just don't want to turn anybody off with a patchouli i don't think this is a dirty patchouli though i don't know 
this is just such a delicious toffee patchouli scent it's so good i might wear this so it's either going to be this or this that i'm going to wear actually today but what am i wearing right now what i'm wearing no bridging this smell good no bridging this smell big good what the heck did i spray on myself earlier today oh no no ma'am and i forgot i sprayed something on myself this morning and it is so good oh no what a shame what a shame i don't remember what i put on myself this morning guys but yeah that's all i wore this week um and i tried out a bunch of tested out a bunch of good things while i put one look of spray but i'm not gonna go into that we'll be here all day but anyway thank you so much for watching this whole video let me know down in the comment section two or three four fragrances that you wore last week because i'm interested for sure um <laughs> i know y'all liking this everyday post for blackity black history month ha by the way happy black history month um i think i already mentioned this to you guys in another video when i the day i bought it but i did get a black owned business I, I i shopped it up well i actually have a fragrance coming too from a black owned business hopefully it gets here before the end of the month and then this is also a small black owned female business i bought it in person it's really cute bag that she made and i think it's so cute so gorgeous so beautiful i love this whole like um i'm not the biggest fan of like <laughs> abstract painting i like more realistic paintings but i love abstract face like faces like that and also like i don't know i think it's a specific style you know that like jazzy um portraits that like the bodies are like long and and, and bent up and then something i like that i would like to own something like that and have it in my house for sure like for sure for sure like in my bedroom maybe like and they're like dancing and stuff oh my goodness anyway i digress <laughs> thank you so much for watching this whole video and hopefully i'll see you in my next one <laughs> bye bye